I'm like trying to rub it off and I cannot. I'm like pulling at my skin and it is staying in place. Now I'm like even more excited to try this because that blended really nice. These are full size by the way, so you are saving a lot of money. It's like a liquid pimple patch. Hey beauty, the Sephora savings event is going on now. And of course I have a huge haul to share with you today. I love this event, especially because for me, it kicks off holiday shopping just because I do save a ton of money on gift sets. If you're not signed up for the Sephora Beauty Insider program, you definitely should be because there's like different levels to the savings that you're gonna get. First of all, everyone is going to save 30% on the entire Sephora collection. If you have reached rogue level status, you're going to save 20%. VIBs get 15% off and insiders get 10% off. So if you literally just sign up for the insider program, you're automatically going to save that 10% off anything on Sephora. All you have to do is use code SAVE savings and that will automatically apply whichever amount that you qualify for which I think is really awesome that they made it just one code for everyone it makes it so much easier to remember the code is savings and I'll have it right here on the screen as well as in the description box below just so it's easier for you to just copy and paste and by the way holiday gift sets have already started dropping on Sephora and those sets Let's go quickly, especially during the Sephora savings event. So shop now, don't wait, because I don't want you to miss out on some of these goodies. You know I had to shop for the beauties on my Christmas list, so I will show you some of the gift sets that I ended up grabbing. Stay tuned for that. Let's go ahead and get into this haul, because I am bursting with excitement on all the goodies I found. Okay, I'm gonna start with Sephora collection first. And I did go ahead and grab two felt tip eyeliners. I did go ahead and grab the black, which is called Little Black Dress. I'm gonna swatch it here. Nice black eyeliner. And I did go ahead and grab the brown, which is called Cup of Joe. And that one is Oh, a really nice, rich brown color. They do look like they dry matte. I am so excited to try these. I do love a good eyeliner. And with the $7 price tag plus the discount, it's actually cheaper than drugstore prices, might I add. Next up, I wanna talk about the Sephora Outrageous Plump Hydrating Lip Gloss. This is actually the color Dazzling Plump. And when I saw it online, it reminded me of this Fenty lip gloss, which I got in a gift set last year. I'm obsessed with this color. It's gone viral recently and it's so gorgeous. So when I saw that this one was so similar, I went ahead and picked it up because if you can't tell, I'm like almost out of this one. And I just wanted to see how similar it was. Okay, I would say that this one is a little bit more purpley than the Fenty. I did see a Fenty gift set with this color in it again this year. And this one's more of a hot pink. Both are really gorgeous, not gonna lie. It does have a different undertone, but I feel like I'm gonna be just as obsessed with this one as I am with this one. I kinda just wanna put it on now. This is so pretty, I was so excited for this. <sighs> okay. Immediately, I'm obsessed and I love the applicator because it's like rounded right here so it fit perfectly on my lips. Oh my gosh. It's a plumping lip gloss too. So I'm gonna wait and see if it actually starts to tingle. 
I don't feel anything yet, but also I love this packaging. I am starting to feel a little tingle, which I kind of like the tingle. Next up, I also grabbed a lip stain. This is the cream lip stain in the color Honey Glaze. I love me a lip stain and I was very intrigued by this. This is the color Honey Glaze. It says it's a lip with lipstick but then it also says that it's a cream lip stain so I'm kind of confused by this but I'm obsessed with that color and it's kind of got like a velvety feel to it going on I'm gonna let that one dry down as well and by the way the eyeliners dried down to like a satin where it's a little bit matte a little bit shiny but really pretty which I think I want to say that this is a satin finish, the eyeliner that I'm wearing now. But yeah, I'm going to let this dry and see if it actually stains or if it just goes matte. But I do love this color. I did also end up getting this cute little gift set of the lip stains as well. I thought the little pouch was cute. I'll probably gift this to one of the preteens in my life. It does have five different colors, which are Always Red, Marvelous Mauve, Rose Instinct, Hot Hot Pink, and Frozen Pomegranate. I love that this is like a little crossbody pouch. It's not big enough to fit my phone in. I did double check it, but I, I think this could be cute to carry lip glosses and your wallet, you know, when your little preteen is out and about it says Sephora and I love that it has this pink crossbody strap super super cute a great little gift oh and before we move on from Sephora collection this did end up drying down super matte I'm like trying to rub it off and I cannot I'm like pulling at my skin and it is staying in place Dang, I halfway want to just keep this. Not going to lie, this product is so good. I'm not going to do that though because I have a certain someone that I know is going to love it. Moving into items that were on my wish list. I was so excited to get my hands on them with an extra discount because I've been waiting to purchase these. And I'm going to start with the House Labs foundation. I'm kind of rethinking the color though, not gonna lie, because I ended up grabbing my winter color, which I am gonna need a winter color soon, but I'm not light enough for my winter color yet. So I don't know. I may go back and grab another one just so I can mix them for the time being. Maybe I'll grab one in my summer color and my winter color, and then in the meantime, just mix them. Depending on how much I like it, of course, but this comes with high, high, high reviews. So anyways, the color that I did get is 270 Light Medium Neutral. I love the Sephora Foundation Match Online because I actually was able just to find the brand of foundation that I'm using. And then I just selected the color that I use in that brand and it recommended the foundation color in this brand. So I went with the one that it recommended. I am so bad about just like ripping open boxes but okay let's get into it i'm so excited like i said i feel like this is gonna be pretty light on my hand actually it's not as light as i expected it is still pretty light for me though Ooh, i cannot wait to get this on my skin it actually has more of a yellow undertone than i expected very pretty i'm gonna actually swatch it do it on my neck since that's what i'm trying to match it's actually not that bad of a match. Now I'm like even more excited to try this because that blended really nice. Okay, I'm definitely gonna have to do a follow-up video on this foundation. But like I said, it has some really good reviews and I'm so excited that I got my hands on it and it was in my color because it's gone viral and I got that discount too. So I'm even more happy with my purchase. Next up, I did go ahead and grab this one 
10 size cheek clapper 3d blush trio and i did get the color attention seeker i've been wanting a really bright like bluish pink for a while and i just haven't bought one look at the packaging so cute i love a red and pink moment oh my goodness look how pretty that color is so the color names are thirsty yes sir and kisses please this one right here on the top is actually a cream color then you got your powder and your highlight oh my gosh <sighs> look at that highlight so pretty i'm gonna do it right here oh I don't even want to mess up the stamp on this. It's so cute. Okay, there's the powder color. Super pretty. Ooh, I like that. There's two layers of that swatch. It's very pigmented. Oh my gosh. And then this one actually, oh my gosh, look how cute. It actually has a little cover for it so it doesn't get mixed up with the powder, which I totally appreciate. I'm gonna swatch this one. So pretty. Ooh, that cream is nice. Oh, I'm obsessed. Immediately, immediately obsessed. I'm so happy with it. And it does come with a really nice big mirror as well. By the way, I do have some of my tried and true favorites I'm gonna share at the end that I totally recommend checking out during the savings event. Let's move on to this Patrick Ta Cream Contour Powder Bronzer Duo. I wanted this one for a long time. I grabbed the color She's Bronzed in the Warm Medium. Ooh, this packaging is so pretty as well. This one opens from the bottom just like that. This one also has the cover for the cream bronzer. Again, I totally appreciate that. <sighs> That color is beautiful. Ooh, that one like blended as soon as I put it on. It didn't even like leave a streak, which is good to know because then I know it's gonna blend on my face really nicely. It's kind of hard to see bronzer on my hand, but I think on my face, these colors will look so pretty. And I haven't really been loving like a super harsh, like contour recently and just like a really pretty bronze to my face with lots of blush avi so i think these two are gonna be so pretty together oh my gosh i have a whole new face routine i just realized i'm excited to try this out for sure moving into gift sets i'm not gonna take these out and swatch them obviously because they are gift sets and i did buy them for gifting, but you know I had to grab the Fenty Lip Gloss Trio. These are full size, by the way, so you are saving a lot of money by buying it in the gift set. So this first one is the Gloss Bomb Cream Color Drip Lip Cream, and the color is Fenty Glow. So the cream is more of a pigmented lip gloss. You are gonna get color out of it. This one is the Gloss Bomb Universal lip luminite in the color dragon mommy this one actually has some glitter in it which is really pretty and then this is the gloss bomb heat you universal lip luminizer plus plumper and this is the color hot cherry this one is gonna give you a little bit of tingle it is gonna heat up on your lips but it does actually plump them up really really nicely I'm very excited for these colors I think this is gonna be a great gift another black owned beauty brand that i've been wanting to try i've heard great things about the danessa myricks beauty so of course i went for the whole shebang with all of the products this is called the forever flushed this all-in-one value-packed set includes two full size which are these two right here and two deluxe minis 
containing half the amount of the full size. With cream products, they literally last so long. And I love a mini because I can put it in my travel makeup bag. I don't travel a lot, but I do get ready in the car a lot. So having minis in my makeup bag, I totally appreciate. Then it goes on to saying, you tap with your fingers or brush onto cheeks or lips and you build color as needed. So this is a cream blush or lip color, which you can use it for both. I actually don't have a purple undertone cream blush and I'm really excited. This one is also really pretty. I love these deeper shades for the winter and fall months. And then this one is a really pretty like reddish color. This one looks like it's a more like rosy nude color. I'm not gonna lie, this kind of was for me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open it. I haven't decided yet. They're all so pretty. I've been so obsessed with cream products lately, like almost to the point that I don't even use a lot of powder products. I just set with a setting powder and I'm good to go. I did grab this gift set of the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. It's called the Pre-Game Pack and it comes with the original clear and it also comes with the golden bronze color. I had someone, I'm not gonna say who because I know she watches my videos, mention that she wanted to try this so I'm gonna include this in her Christmas gift. I'm very excited that I found this for her and I think she's gonna enjoy the bronzy one as well because it looks so pretty. I was so excited to find Forever Mood on Sephora. I'm a huge Jackie Ina fan. She's one of my favorites and I've known that she's been in Sephora but I did not expect to see the gift sets. So this might actually be for me. There was actually a couple of different gift sets. One that had like all four scents, but I wanted something a little bit bigger. So I went with the two pack one and it includes the scent NDA and I am her. I'm excited to try these and I love supporting creators that I love personally, like these two right here. I did go ahead and grab another gift set of the Valentino because Valentino perfumes are honestly some of my favorite. And when I saw this one, I could not resist. It has all four scents and it's just so cute. I love having a little mini bottle for my handbag. I also have someone in mind that I'm gonna gift this to. She also loves perfume, so I might include this one as well as a full-size bottle of some sort or maybe like, I don't know, some slippers and a robe and like, I don't know, some cute little gift set, but I thought that these little minis were so cute. I do want to talk about some of my personal tried and true favorites. Let's start with perfume because I did just talk about perfume so we're kind of still in that zone but I feel like no one ever mentions Jimmy Choo and these are also some of my favorite perfumes. Josh actually gifted me both of these last year and I've gone through a lot of them, especially this one ended up being one of my favorites. I recently reorganized over here. Some of my perfumes were here and I moved them right here to my desk area. And when I saw that I had barely use this one, I was like, okay, we're gonna put her in the front because she is amazing. So if you haven't tried Jimmy Choo perfumes, definitely check them out. And like I said, they do have a whole bunch of gift sets where you can try out your favorite perfumes. Sephora is infamous for having the perfume set that has all the perfumes and then you can go back and get like a discount on a full size bottle that you want, which is always a great gift during the holiday holiday time. Next I want to talk skincare because I realized I actually didn't end up getting any skincare but right now is a great time to try out some of the more expensive skincare that you've been wanting to try because you do get it in a discount and from what I've noticed 
The high-end skincare products don't typically go on sale a lot. I do want to talk about Lancome skincare in general. I really love the Genifique. It's what I'm using now. I have also gone through the purple bottle, the one that's a serum and a cream like mixed together. Absolutely loved that one. I'm like halfway through this bottle. I don't know if you could tell on camera, but it's like a line right here. So maybe I will go back before the sale is over for the purple one because I really, really liked that one. But this one is so good as well. It layers well, it moisturizes, and it does what I need it to do. And it is a youth activating concentrate. It's for all skin types. I do use it morning and night. This one is a classic for a reason. Next up, I want to talk about this Ola Henriksen True Serum. It's collagen boosted with True C Complex. It's a brightening serum, which I enjoy because anytime I get a breakout, it doesn't matter if I pick it or just let it be, it turns into a dark spot. And this has definitely helped fade the look of dark spots on my face and get rid of those spots extra quickly. Like I had a breakout right here a week or two ago and I feel like I can't even see the spot anymore, which is not normal for me. And I totally associate that with this serum right here. Yeah, so I really love this. Next up, I wanna talk about this Kiehl's Truly Targeted Acne Clearing Solution. I love this. I've put Josh on this and he loves it. It's like a liquid pimple patch. It does dry down and it really helps the blemish i'm pointing right here because that's the last big breakout that i had and this seriously made it flat overnight it seriously works y'all and just recently i think yesterday actually i put this on josh and same thing for him overnight it was basically all flattened out i did go ahead and put some more on him this morning before work it's not like you're going to work with a zit sticker that could potentially like peel up and look crazy throughout the day. I've really, really been enjoying this. I did already mention this setting spray, y'all. This is so good and it smells delicious. I stopped using this for a couple days just because it was in my makeup bag and I was too lazy to get up and go get it out. I noticed that my makeup was not staying in place. I looked crazy by the end of the day. Half of my blush was wiped away and with the same foundation routine, I just went in with this and it had my makeup glued on. So totally recommend this one. I do also really love the one size one, but I just love the way that this smells, honestly. Next up, I wanna talk about this Dior concealer. This is the Dior Backstage. I'm in the color 3W. I've actually had this one for a while. It's the concealer that I'm wearing today. It leaves my under eye so creamy. And when I go to set it, it doesn't make my powder look super cakey or like too heavy or anything like that gives a lot of moisture to my under eyes and it really does help reduce the look of fine lines because i have started to get fine lines underneath my eyes and i totally love 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 this of course i have to talk about the huda easy bake powder i have the full size cherry blossom cake i did go ahead and get the sample size of the banana bread i don't use this powder as much just because i do not like the travel size packaging. So if you're gonna go for the Huda powder, I would recommend just grabbing the full size one because this has lasted me forever. I would say I'm like halfway through and I've had this for months, like months on months on months. So if you're thinking about it, totally do it. Just don't go for the mini because in my opinion with this packaging, it's just not worth it. But the powder inside I do absolutely love. And I feel like both the pink and the banana look really good on my skin tone. The pink obviously is for more brightening. The banana does you know, help me get more coverage. I did actually do a side-by-side -side video on Instagram and TikTok, whichever platform you prefer. I 
post my short videos on both. So if you want to see the difference, definitely go check out my socials. That is going to bring us to the end of my Sephora savings event haul. I really hope that you enjoyed everything that I shared today. I will go ahead and link everything I shared today in the description box below and check out my like to know it page because I'm going to go ahead and round up some of the best gift sets to give. Thank you so much for watching. Happy shopping and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.